Hi, this is a video tour of the solar installation I did on my 2021 Arctic Fox truck camper. Let's get started up on the roof. So up here I've got four panels. There's a total of 760 watts of solar. Each panel is 190 watts. The panels are made by ZAMP for AM Solar, and each panel is actually two 95 watt panels. And then using the correct wiring harness, you can wire them in either series or parallel. I have mine wired in series, which gives me about 40 volts coming out of the panel, which is great for low light. The, the panels start producing usable power in very, very low light. And there are four of the panels on the roof. The panels come together, uh, each panel in series then comes together in parallel in the AM solar combiner box in the middle of the roof. Come back down off the ladder now. Here is the stock battery box. I've actually removed the plastic box to make room for the two 200 amp hour Shins batteries. So a total of uh, 400 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate battery capacity. This is the generator compartment. We ordered the camper without a generator so we could do this solar install. Inside, I have the Lynx distributor. This brings all of the circuits in the system together. Uh, you can see here, these are my DC loads going back into the camper. This is the ground wire for the Lynx. These are the wires from the solar charge controller and the output wires from the Lynx to the inverter. The inverter is the Victron 12 3000 Multi Plus. Um, probably overkill for the camper, but we did want the ability to be able to run the air conditioner, and it does that really well. The inverter has the ability to take power from both the shore and the batteries up to 50 amps, which means I had to upgrade the service on the camper. Uh, part of that, I upgraded the wire coming from the inverter to the circuit breakers to a 6.3 wire to handle the 50 amps. And I put a new 50 amp breaker in the panel uh, in place of the 30 amp breaker so I can take, uh, make full use of the 50 amps that the Multi Plus can provide. Over here I have the Blue Sea uh, Master Kill Switch. This will kill the entire system. And the Victron Battery Monitor Shunt which allows me to monitor how much power I'm taking from the batteries or put it, putting back in. And on this side, this is the Serbo GX. This runs a touch screen inside the camper, which lets me view the entire system, uh, as well as connects the system to the internet um, so I can view everything remotely and make some changes to the system remotely. Uh, now we'll go inside. inside the camper. It's a little noisy in here. I've been running the air conditioner since 11.30 today. It's now uh, 4.15, so I'm going on almost five hours of use with the AC. We'll go down here. This is the touch screen, the, tur the servo touch screen. And you can see with almost five hours of, of AC use, I still have 36% of my battery capacity left. This shows the solar uh, input. Uh, right now we're making about 460 watts of, of power off the solar panels. The air conditioner just clicked off, so right now I'm not drawing any AC load. Um, but when the AC kicks back on, you would see that jump up to about uh, 1,050 watts and shows that the inverter is on right now. This red box would uh, indicate shore power uh, if we were plugged in, which we're not. Down here is the Victron Digital Multi-Control. This is a simple way to control the inverter. Uh, right now I have it turned uh, to the right, which is inverter on. Um, to the left would be charger only. This would 
uh, charge off of shore power, and in the middle is off. This, where it says 12, uh, the current limit, as I mentioned, the, the inverter can operate up to 50 amps um, using a combination of shore power and battery power. And I can set my shore power limit here. So right now the camper's at home. It's not plugged in, but if it were, I would be plugged into a 15 amp circuit on the side of the house. Um, so I have it set it to pull no more than 12 amps off of that circuit. And then if I were to turn on additional loads, it would make that up out of the batteries. Up here is the readout for the uh, charge or the uh, battery monitor, and I can scroll through various menus. Uh, this is showing how many amps amp hours I've consumed today, and so on percentage of battery left. I don't use this much anymore um, with the touch screen and the Bluetooth capability on the phone, um, but it is necessary because this is how the it's the model BMV 712, um, and this is how it talks uh, to through Bluetooth to the other components. Now we'll go underneath the kitchen counter. That's where the batteries are mounted. And again, you can see the two Kins batteries. And in the back there, you can barely see that is the charge controller, the Victron MPPT charge controller. I went with the 15070 model. Um, which that means it can handle up to uh, 150 volts um, of power from the solar panels and it can convert up to 70 amps of power back into the system. Um, it's overkill for my system. The highest I've seen so far is about 45 amps. The next size down in the charge controller was a 50 amp controller, uh, which probably would have worked fine but I like to go a little bigger than I need on this kind of stuff. I just think it lasts longer um, when you run it, not at full capacity. And then in the back there, that's my master fuse. It's a 400 amp ANL fuse, and that's between the batteries and the Lynx distributor. So overall, the system does exactly what we needed it to do. It is overkill for the camper. Um, but I did want to be able to run the AC. The intent wasn't to run the AC continuously all day, all night. We knew it wouldn't do that with the 400 amp hour of battery, but we did want to be able to run it. Um, we spent a lot of time at high elevation in Yellowstone, uh, fly fishing and, and hiking, and it's nice to be able to run the AC uh, during lunch, after we come off the trail, a little bit in the evening before we go to bed, etc. And uh, the system, it, it works great. It's everything we could have wanted. So thanks for taking a look. I hope you find it helpful with your system or our systems you like to install. And we'll see you later.